Hi guys, it's Carla from Cooking for Kales. Welcome back to another video and welcome to summer. Today we're making a zesty salmon and rice salad. It's a perfect dish to have for lunch for these hot summer days. So the ingredients for this are quite simple. I've boiled a cup of long grain rice. You can use brown rice if you have it too. Some frozen salmon fillets, but you could also perhaps use a can of salmon. Uh, some enamami beans or soy beans and some chopped up veggies So first I want to prepare my veggies. I'm just going to chop them up real quick and I love the colors in this salad I love the greens and the pink from the salmon Makes it really inviting to eat so I'm quickly chop up some green onions or some scallions. Put those aside. And I've got these cute little cucumbers. These are very popular right now because of the summer season. These little mini cucumbers are great to have for snacks, just cutting them up. You can also use a regular long English cucumber if you have that too. Any cucumber will do. I'm going to run my knife through these cucumbers real quick and put them aside. And you can also use uh, cilantro in this recipe. Unfortunately, I didn't have any cilantro, so I'm just going with cucumbers and green onions and the anamami soybeans. That's it. That's your prep done. Now I'm going to quickly roast my salmon. This is the still frozen. I just put them onto a, a baking tray. I'm adding some olive oil and seasoning them quickly with some salt and pepper. And I'm going to put these in the oven for about 12 minutes. The oven's a 250 degrees Celsius oven or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And while the salmon is baking, I'm just going to quickly make the dressing that goes into this salad. So first I'm zesting a lime of a full lime about a tablespoon or two and now I'm coaxing the juice out of this lime I find limes are so stingy when it comes to juice juicing them so I like to run my hands over them to get it started before I cut it in half and try to squeeze every last goodness juice from these lemon from these limes and use a fork because I find it helps to coax out the juice. Limes are so stingy. I've never come across a really juicy lime. I don't know if it's because I live in the UK and they just don't have them. I don't know. They don't have juicy limes. But eventually, if you work hard enough, you can get all of the juice out. And I'm not leaving any inside. I even like a little bit of the pulp in there. It's nice. Squeezing it. And to that, you just add two tablespoons of soy sauce. Put the lime zest into the mix. And then one final ingredient I add is my trusty red pepper flake. Love this stuff. Just goes with so many recipes. Just mix that together. I added about a half a teaspoon, quarter teaspoon, but you can do it to your liking. And there we go, the sauce is done. Now I'm gonna bring this all together. I have my rice. Just gonna fluff that really quickly with a fork. My salmon is ready and it's been out of the oven and flaked. Now I'll add that to the rice. Salad comes together so quickly, guys, and it tastes delicious. Now in go the soybeans. a good source of protein and then the veg so pretty love the colors so inviting so I'm just mixing that round gently 
to get all of the ingredients distributed through the rice. Before adding the seasoning, the sauce to it. One last stir. And you don't have to add any additional salt because the soy sauce is quite salty. And just mix that through so that the sauce is distributed throughout the salad. This is just a lovely lunch to have guys. That's it. Salad's done. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thank you for watching and if you did, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.